In what may be another example of how Republicans don't actually care about protecting the youth, Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has uh, appointed a man to his top state prison post, even though he had been previously fired as a police officer for doing some things that he shouldn't have. Sexual anarchy. Jamal Jones, who Sanders had appointed as chairman of the Arkansas Post-Prison Transfer Board back in January, resigned last Friday after news agencies reported that the Benton Police Department fired him after he admitted to an internal affairs investigator that he had some uh, sexual relations as an adult with a 17-year-old girl, according to the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Now, in Arkansas, the age of consent is 16, so he didn't break that law, but he did violate police policy and he lied about the encounter. In fact, Jones claimed that uh, he had lied about it because, well, he was embarrassed and he was scared. But, uh, wait, you weren't embarrassed enough to turn it down then? I mean, you didn't think about it? I know, I know you think of it with the little head instead of the big one, you know? Uh, I, let me guess, all the blood rushed from your brain somewhere else and suddenly you're like, oh, oh, my, I can't think now because I'm getting a blowing in the parking lot. Yeah. Uh, an investigation found that Jones' initial job application to join the police force did not provide or submit certain key information about the relationship with a minor. And let's be fair, that's a minor. Okay. So again, age of consent laws, still a minor. Jones said he and the girl had talked at the gym and that she had identified herself as an 18-year-old before performing the act on him in the Benton Post Office parking lot. However, the Benton Police uh, Internal Affairs investigator wrote in his official report that there was indication that he knew her age and continued the relationship anyway, even telling her that the relationship had to be hush-hush that nobody could find out. Well, uh, oops, we found out. Now, Jones admitted to wanting to keep the relationship secret because, again, again, apparently he's embarrassed, and uh, also admitted to never asking for the girl's ID. As a police officer, you're taught to do that. The county never filed charges, but fired him three weeks later. So it's just sort of a hush hush. Let's, you know, sweep this whole thing under the rug and uh, let him go. Mm. Now, that could have been the end of it, but now here comes Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who had just recently signed a ban on gender-affirming care for trans minors, including anyone younger than 18. You apparently, she's one of those people who thinks maybe you can have sex or oral sex with a police officer in a parking lot when you're 17. You're old enough for that, but you're not old enough to have gender-affirming health care. Okay, sure, apparently the latter is more of a problem and not potential abuse of a police officer as well as, of course, having sex with a minor. Look, it doesn't matter that she sought him out and initiated, okay? Uh, police officers should be expected to adhere to higher standards. I know, it's a crazy thing when you think about it. Uh, uh, I mean, oh, yeah, uh, you, uh, you expect a police officer to have higher standards? We only give them a badge and a gun. Uh, yeah, that's exactly why you should have higher standards, because you do hold a lot of power. Mm. But, again, at the end of the day, I mean, if you're a police officer, maybe it's best to follow the rule of thumb to not get blowies from random girls at a parking lot. I'm just saying. Just saying. Now, back to Sanders, right? So she signed a don't say gay law banning classroom instruction on gender identity and sexual orientation before fifth grade, as well as another bill allowing anyone who received gender affirming care as a minor to sue their doctor up to 15 years after they turn 18. Although that was blocked by a court. And in February, she signed a bill reclassifying drag performances as adult oriented entertainment. So all of that, I mean, obviously, She's saying that the LGBTQ community, drag queens, all that, are more of a danger to children, to minors, uh, than, you know, police officers getting BJs. Yeah, okay. And then lying about it. And, you know, 
Now, aside from the hypocrisy, right, it's a position that she had put him in. When Sanders appointed Jones back in January, she said this in a statement, quote, that his prior law enforcement experience makes him a clear choice to take on this important role. And I look forward to working together as we empower Arkansans with a safer, stronger state. That role being the uh, board's chief executive, administrative, budgetary, and fiscal officer. Now, he would have earned an annual salary of over $95,000 and served for seven years. Now, the board that he resigned from oversees parole, alternative sentencing programs, and expunging of criminal records for eligible defenders. Hmm. Hmm. Now, Sanders' office did not respond to a media request asking if she knew about his previous firing from the police force before appointing him, or even how her office vets potential political appointees. Uh, I'm guessing they just have to be not woke. <laughs> but look, it shows you that she doesn't really care uh, about who she appoints. I mean, for people who say they want to protect teens and young kids from, you know, the dangers of whatever, and she seems to be putting kids in a lot of danger, appointing people that have sex with minors uh, in parking lots uh, to run the uh, prison, uh, you know, prison board, rolling back uh, labor protections uh, to prevent, you know, child labor in the state. In fact, in, in fact, trying to get more kids to work in possibly dangerous positions like in factories, chicken plants, etc. And by the way, you know, uh, I believe there's another state where uh, a McDonald's employee uh, of a franchise that was allowed to hire a 14-year-old, a manager was hired in with a history of sexual abuse of minors. And guess what? He sexually abused a minor. So, ah, weird. It, it, you know, but, hey, we're protecting children by making them work in these places and then hiring uh, and, and allowing people to hire, you know, uh, sexual defenders. But that's okay. We're protecting them, not from those people, but from LGBTQ people. Because we're bigots. That's it. That's it. It's almost like all these laws are just another way to attack LGBTQ people for political gain while actually distracting and protecting real sexual predators.